The public knows very little about what happens behind closed doors of royal palaces, so the investigation results of Meghan Markle's behavior towards the staff will not be made public, and we can only be content with the meager revelations of former employees and rumors. The confrontation between the Duchess of Sussex and the royal staff began with a complaint from former public relations secretary Jason Nauf, which he filed in October 2018. It was claimed that Meghan kicked two personal assistants out of the house and mistreated a third one, but the Duchess immediately denied the news. After that, Buckingham Palace launched an investigation and it ended only this summer. Its results are intended only for the eyes of Queen Elizabeth and Prince Charles and Prince William. It is only known that, as a result, the staff of the royal court had the right to complain about the inappropriate behavior of the monarchs and even to resort to the help of an independent consultant. It is known from leaked sources that after the wedding of Meghan and Harry, the life of the staff changed a lot. If before the marriage there was a relaxed atmosphere in the Duke of Sussex's house, then after that, the atmosphere became more tense every day. They say that before, the prince always made his own morning coffee and treated the staff to a drink, and Meghan Markle insisted that the butler prepare the coffee. There is, however, another story, telling how the Duchess once ordered a large tray of ice cream and sherbet to Kensington Palace to treat her employees. Writer Tom Quinn, known for his books about the monarchs of Great Britain, claims that the staff of the palace immediately dubbed Meghan Markle with a number of unflattering nicknames. She was called the Duchess of Difficulties, D2, and D-Light, hinting that Meghan brings trouble, just like Princess Diana. Another nickname of the Duchess is Megane, a play on words formed from her name Meghan and the word gain. According to the writer, the courtiers initially did not know what to do with Markle, and another expert on the royal family believes that she and the Buckingham Palace staff simply had a clash of cultures. The Duchess's assistants did not approve of her career in show business and celebrity status, and they were also confused by her disrespect for hierarchy, her self-confidence, and feminist beliefs. Meghan, in turn, did not understand many unwritten traditions in the palace. Perhaps the results of an internal investigation would have set the record straight in the story, but alas, it didn't happen. And why do you think Buckingham Palace did not publish the results of the investigation? If you liked the video, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything interesting.